welcome back here at live.homatro.com or maybe even welcome back here at the booth at the Homatro stand at Interschutz 2015. And right next to me, we have the team from Finland who just had an exceptional extrication here and they've actually made it to extricate the victim out of the vehicle. So my first question to you, how did it go? Very well. That's Very it, well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> perfect. So, um, were there any any difficulties during the extrication that you've uh, that you've noticed and you had to like handle with? Yes, that was uh, quite hard to get uh, medic inside and uh, okay. stabilize that car. Maybe patients extrication. That was very very hard. It was very very hard. Yes, because there was ball, the poles and cars. There was a car, yeah. Yes, it was blocking uh, the doors. Yes. Um, er sagt, es war natürlich sehr, sehr schwer, das, um, den Zugang zum Opfer zu gewährleisten, dass auch natürlich der medizinische Helfer ins Fahrzeug gelangt, um erste Hilfe zu leisten. Um, but you actually made it, you got a medic inside. Um, and then the way through the back of the car was really, really difficult because there was this pole right between the, the seat and between um, like the top actually the bottom of the car, so it was a really, really tiny hole you had to squeeze the victim through, right? Yeah. Yes, that hatchback was on my, on my way. Yeah, he said the heck clappe was in the way, so it was also cut off, you cut it off and you took the, the, the hatch away. Um, so how did the assessors uh, think you did? They like it. They liked that, it? That, that, that was <laughs> very, maybe perfect. All right, great. That sounds really good. So you're happy with your work? Yes. Wunderbar. Also, Sie sagen, dass die Jurymitglieder alle auch sehr zufrieden waren mit der Arbeit. Um, from my opinion, I have no clue about this job, but um, were there any things you could have improved or you could improve for the next time? Yes, a little bit um, small things. Okay. We have... Uh, other things what we do in Finland. Okay. So equipment, uh, different, different equipment habit, wise? Or? Different habitants for protection and we have to uh, know how to use vehicles in, in winter. Okay. Okay, also er sagt, in Finnland sind die, ähm, die Bedingungen ein bisschen andere und es sind natürlich auch andere Geräte, die dort benutzt werden, aber im Grunde genommen, well, in total you did a great job with this situation, because it was really, really difficult, since the, the hole was so tiny. Um, so how important is um, participating in a competition like this for you? Is it, are you here for the money or why are you here? We are on, only training. training. Training, yes. Yes, education and much knowledge for new things and set in another other thing. Also meine Frage ist und die kam diese Woche tatsächlich auch schon mehrfach auf, warum die Jungs eigentlich hier sind, so eine weite Reise auf sich zu nehmen für 20 Minuten. Ich meine, ja, man kann 20000 Euro gewinnen. Ich habe einen Fliege an der Nase. I'm gonna fly on my nose. Um, es gibt 20000 Euro zu gewinnen, aber das wichtigste für die Teams, auch für das Team hier aus Finnland ist tatsächlich der Lernerfolg, die Lernerfahrung, die mitgenommen werden kann. And it's really important to to work on new cars with new technologies because material has been changing in the last couple of years. So I think it's really important for you to work with new materials, right? Yeah. So who used the Homatro tools? Who used the, the cutter? cutter yes. You use it? You just, do you speak English? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. So how was, um, I can see you're using Homatro in Finland. Yeah. <laughs> so how was it for you to use the tools? Mm. And we use the microphone. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Uh, was it, is, is there a difference between the uh, Homatro tools and no, maybe you've no. used other tools? No, we have, a, we have the same tools in Finland. And, and how is it for you? Is it easy? Are they heavy or...? Mm, no heavy, no heavy, because no we heavy. have hard training. Also he said, the Geräte are for him not And easy tool. And not just the training, tool. the tools are the easiest and the, the lightest weight tools in the world. With 9.9 .9 kilograms, they're really, really light. Ja, also ich habe auch nochmal gesagt, dass das natürlich ähm, kräftige Jungs sind, die haben auf jeden Fall Power, aber wichtig ist natürlich auch, dass die Geräte dementsprechend leicht sind und das ist mit den Holmatro-Werkzeugen auf jeden Fall gewährleistet. Der leichteste äh, Spreizer auf dem Markt mit 9,9 Kilogramm, das ist wirklich sensationell. So, how are your plans for the week? Maybe you can answer. What, are you going to stay here until Saturday or are you flying back home to Finland? We are flying back to home. Yes. So, what about today, if, you, today if you win on Saturday? Maybe come back. You come back? Maybe, maybe. 
All right, I'll see you on Saturday, maybe, we never know. All right, ich habe noch einmal gefragt, was die Jungs diese Woche noch vorhaben, aber sie fliegen natürlich nach Hause. Aber er hat mir gerade versprochen, dass am Samstag, wenn sie denn die Gewinner sein sollten, er auf jeden Fall wieder hier am Start ist. So, thank you very much for your guys' thank time. You. I think you did an exceptional job. You got the victim out. You got great scores from the assessors. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Holmatra. All right.